Okay, this video is primarily going to go over uh, Cody and if you're having problems with streaming and it's buffering or if you get a uh, error that says cache full or if you can't fast forward or rewind while streaming and you're getting frustrated, this is something I found you could do. You go to your Cody home page and then scroll over to programs and then go down to the right, select maintenance tool. Then from there, you're gonna go over to system tweaks, top right hand corner. Once you're at system tweaks, you are wanna go to create and edit advanced settings. All right, once you're in there, you're gonna go to edit settings. And then from there, you're going to scroll down and go to Network Settings. Now you're going to scroll down to Network. Select that. Okay, so all of these on your screen should be red. Um, the reason some of mine are green is because I've changed them. You're going to want to change your um, client timeout to 15 seconds. You're going to want to put your low speed time at 15 seconds. Both of those settings are minor, not that big of a deal. It's these three bottom settings that are primarily going to help you with uh, getting rid of your excessive buffering and um, problems with streaming. Your cache mem buffer size is going to be different depending on what device you're on, but if you're on a Fire Stick with one gigabyte of RAM, you're going to want to use a third of that. And I've already done the calculations here. A third of that and bit size is going to be three set. 367-00160. That'll be the most efficient cache size for your Amazon Fire Stick. And that'll essentially give you uh, a larger memory bank to um, buffer when you're watching your shows. Then your buffer mode is going to be uh, one, two, three, or four, select one. That'll put your buffering at priority one. Your read buffer factor is going to be 20. So essentially what this means is there's anywhere from zero to 20 will give your network priority. So 20 being the highest will give your fire stick the highest priority on your network, which will allow it to uh, download faster. One of the Downfalls of this is if you have uh, somebody else in another room who's streaming, um, you're going to take priority over them. So if you don't want to hog all the bandwidth, you might want to reduce this down to something lower. But we leave it at 20 because we would rather stream than have web pages load faster for somebody who's surfing on their network. But anyway, once you get all these done, um, the settings aren't in yet. You're going to hit the go back button one time. Hit it again, hit it one more time, and write XML file. You're going to click that, and this is going to write all your changes into the system. Now, once they're wrote into the system, you can scroll down here to list enable settings to make sure that the settings you have just entered are, act are active. And as you can see, I've got one buffer mode, I've got my cache size, my two timeouts of 15 seconds apiece, and my um, buffer factor priority at 20. Once you do that, you're going to hit back, 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 back. You're going to go to the home screen of Cody, highlight the little circle, which is essentially your power button, and you're going to turn Cody off this way. It's in the bottom left-hand corner. Once you do this, it's going to clear your cache for Cody and uh, basically make everything uh, fresh again when you start it back up. So all your options will be active. Now you go back into Cody and you can watch whatever you want to watch. But primarily this is from Nicole and Michelle. I did not put this on your fire sticks when we gave it to you and it's something I just learned recently that will help us, that helped us last night in our um, viewing because Dana was having problems with streaming. Anyway, hope this helps.